Hello everybody, um, welcome to my first ever YouTube video and welcome to my channel. Um, I've been promising this video to people for like ages that I was going to start this channel really like two weeks ago. Um, I just never, I've just been really anxious about getting it going and obviously like testing myself on camera to see what I feel like I look like. Um, and how I sound and all that and learning how to edit properly and all these kind of things so finally doing the video um yeah so this first video um I'm gonna tell you a bit about myself why I chose to start a YouTube channel and then I'm gonna go into a like a first impressions review of some birch box boxes um I'm gonna do, um, so basically, I did the Black Friday deal where you got two boxes for a fiver, which I thought I'd heard a bit about it and I wanted to give it a go. Um, they were partnered with Hermes, who like a like a shipping company like DHL or UPS or whatever. And they've usually, they, Hermes are usually really good, like they do like top shot, they've always arrived in time for me. For some reason, they didn't actually deliver it to the right address. It took me ages to get it all sorted. So I finally got my December birch box and like a best sellers birch box, which was the Black Friday deal um, about a week and a half ago now with my January birch box. So that's what I'm gonna be doing a review on. Um, the best sellers box actually isn't a best sellers box. It's a box from March, 2018. And I think because they felt so bad for me, they sent me to March, 2018, even though they've got different products in. So I'm gonna review all those um, in order of like dates. I'll do those first and then the December and then the January. So it's more up to date. <coughs> Sorry still ish recovering from the flu which I had literally since New Year's not even not even funny okay so how I actually introduce my my name is Emma Copley 24 um, I've graduated in a bachelor from Denmark I went there to study because um, I'm living in England now I went there to study and I did uh, fashion branding I, yeah, fashion branding and marketing management and fashion communications. At the moment, I am not working. Um, I recently finished an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, paid internship with Argent Provocateur. For those of you who don't know who they are, they are a really beautifully luxury um, lingerie designer, a British brand, amazing. And for like to have anyone who works in fashion, you like you will know getting a paid internship like never happens. So I was so lucky, had the best time. It was digital marketing. Um, amazing people, an amazing brand. Like some people were like, oh, it's so expensive though. Yeah, well, you're getting what you pay for. Trust me. Like I was so fortunate to see some of the collections coming up for the next couple of seasons, and. <sighs> to die for so yeah I've just finished that that was just before Christmas and the reason why and then I was going to start this but then it was like Christmas and New Year's and then I'm having to deal with like having to set this up and figuring out what, I, what it is that I really want to do um and all that kind of jazz um just to warn I'm a bit kooky some might call it weird some call it wild it is who I am so basically my idol in terms of career success is a woman called Kelly Catrone and she is the owner of People's Revolution which is a PR company based in America mainly LA and New York and she wrote a biography a few years back saying normalness gets you nowhere and Kelly I couldn't agree more honey I was not born to blend in I stand out and honey I do a goddamn good job of it so you know this is who I am yeah I don't know this is really weird talking into a camera like it's like staring at me so a little bit about why I wanted to do a YouTube channel um halfway through university I found out that I am really really love doing makeup something that I've always loved doing and like I'm really into my SFX makeup so now I've now I've got a YouTube channel I can do my you know 
crazy Halloween looks, you know, every day of October. I'm also quite a creative person, but you wouldn't know that in my life because I just haven't had a creative outlet, an outlet for me to do that. And this is a perfect thing for me to do. Um, people have also always said to me, either really good friends, people who meet me, even people that <laughs> I work with at AP, which for short is Audrey Provocateur. Um, Emma, you're really funny. You should have your own re reality TV show. But it's not like I'm gonna walk into ITV and be like, honey, you should do a video, you know, like a reality TV show on me and they're gonna be like, honey, who the fuck are you? So that's why I want to do this as well, like a bit. So it's basically a lot of makeup stuff. I want to do like a lot of tutorials, but I also want to do a bit, a bit of personality stuff. So like the speak out challenge. Um, ASMR, which is not because it's like a trend on YouTube. I've been obsessed with ASMR for like the last three or four years, and that's because of um, a great uh, channel called Psyche Truth, who do like massage videos and anything to do with like spiritual and like wellness and health, and a bit beauty too. Um, so that's why, like, I've been obsessed with that forever. Um, so I want to do it because I just generally something I like to do and I want to do things that I find as triggers, like tapping. Mm. Annoys me so much. Annoys me so much. Yes, I've got a microphone. Um, no, not into that life, not into that life. So I want to do things that like I find really like triggering. So, so now I'm going to do my badge box review, finally. Um, I have had a little peek up some of these boxes just because I was curious so um, like the Christmas one came with Hotel Chocolat chocolates I might have already eaten them <laughs> they were just they looked too damn good to save I didn't want to make anyone feel jealous on, on camera so I'm all eating them so we're gonna try this out so I've got they look the exact same. I'm gonna start with the March 2018, which is what I got as like a bestsellers box. And I think also they just, because they felt bad about the whole situation, they gave me another one. And they look like this. So when we try and focus. Woo! It worked! Yes, mother! Okay, and inside the box, you get, I like that sound. I think I'm gonna be good at ASMR as well. I'm gonna go down, so. You get like a leaflet like this, which says, um, be present, not perfect. Who doesn't love a quote too? And inside it says, what's in your March birch box? And then it gives you like little, little pictures of the, this is where I can't see if it was working. We're gonna try to focus up. Oh, I think it's working. I have to apologise, I do love a good accent or two, and I know I'm pretty damn shocking at them, but you know, just gives you a little description about the products and that kind of thing. So what do we have here? Yes, right. First of all, oh, we have a Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura. Instead of sensational, put zensational. Honey, I know what you did there. Foaming shower gel. Can we see, can we see that? Yes, it worked. Um, organic rice milk and cherry blossom. Right, because it's a foaming shower gel, I'm obviously not going to like starving a shower on camera because that'll be wrong on so many levels. But I'm gonna try and like, do a little bit of my hand. Smells good y'all, it smells good. Maybe I should, shake that shit up. I'm really scared. <laughs> Is it gonna explode? <gasps> oh, oh, do you see that? It's turned into foam, you know. Look. Oh. I'm gonna be smelting fresh to death after that. And this is where you find out you forgot to bring some tissues. Luckily, I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna. So that's cute. Digging that. Digging that. Didn't it come with it? Yes, it did. There we go. Pop. Done. Right, then it comes with 
I'm trying not to get any foam on my clothes. Black mask. Black. Oh, it would be good if you could actually read it. No, it is. Yeah, it is that way around, isn't it? <gasps> there we go. <sighs> and because it doesn't, it's too small to tell you on the thing. It's a peel off mask. When pores are clogged, blemishes are appearing and your complexion is generally looking tired, this charcoal mask will dry up toxins and purify. First cleanse with a warm cloth to open up your pores, then apply an even layer and wait for 15 to 20 minutes. Now for the fun bit, slowly peel off in an upward direction to reveal a happy, healthy complexion. Psst. Sensitive skin. Always patch test first. Well, they say patch test, but you know, I've got sensitive skin. I never patch test, but I'm not going to zoom in because it is not a sight anyone wants to behold. But the Himalayas decided to join my face Friday night. I've got oily, I've got oily, oily, oil prone skin, oily skin. So I never really have to worry too much about my skincare routine because um, the oil kind of does it for me, even though I try to stop that from happening. The more you, I almost feel like, unless you have like combination skin, then you can do, I pretty much feel like you can do whatever you like. For me, I don't know this is about, it's not just for anyone with oily skin, but for me personally, the, if I, the more I use of products, the worse my skin gets. So I tried a new like exfoliator and like a, one of those poor things on my face yesterday. So I wouldn't look too gross for this video. didn't work did not work made it bloody worse and now I'm feel like I'm breaking out everywhere so yes but I've always wanted to try one of these so I'm quite excited about this <laughs> it's got something on it see what really annoys me is when companies do like a lid like this if you can see and it hasn't got the little pointy things where you can like going like that and it opens the thing like you do with like um when you go to the pharmacy <gasps> oh that's not good oh I hate when that happens you know when you lift it off and it just squirts out the top <sighs> all, all these smells are like I'm blocking my airways not that they need unblocking but whatever it smells like you know what it smells like <gasps> Oh, you do what I just did and get it on the tip of your nose because you went in too bloody close. Do you know what I mean? Clumsy. <laughs> it smells like men's cologne aftershave, like body shower. Which I quite like. So I used to wear Abercrombie Fierce. <clears throat> For anyone who doesn't know, it is, they say it's a men's cologne. It's unisex, darling. It's the one that when you go into an Abercrombie shop and it's the one that you smell. <sighs> loved it so much I like I always said if a boy was wearing that I would instantly find them attractive so I thought maybe I'd make myself instantly attractive so I decided to buy it had it for three or four years loved it went to the airport because it was a 200 milliliter bottle but it only had like 30 milliliters in it they took it away from me and then she's like oh yeah you can like get it back like you just have to pay like eight pound I was like eight pound like if I was to buy the 30 millis from Abercrombie it'd be like 54 quid or whatever so I was like I'll pay that 20 pounds Stansted wanted Stansted you can go fuck off mate is all I'm gonna say I really promise I'm not an aggressive person but no Stansted you can take that and you can shove it up your rear end so I'm not going to do this, but what I would do is I'm going to do like, I think, I feel like this is going to be a good part of my skin, skin, skin care routine. So what I'll do is products that I can't really like test out now, I'm going to use in another video where hopefully my skin's better and I will like do like a, I'll do like a skincare routine video. I think what I'll do, because I think there's also some hair care products in some of these I noticed. I'm gonna do that but we'll see the next one is absolution created a pocket three this is where you want to, it's a bloody French Le Netiant Purete see I know I'm I know I'm saying that wrong can you see 
focus there we go we're gonna have to go back we're gonna have to go back to the good old the good old booklet yeah i mean feeling sensitive i can't burp so when I, i'm drinking elderflower and sparkling water right now so i get these little gurgles here which my friends have until they meet me until i meet people they never believe me and then when they hear them they're like oh my god now i know we've been talking about forever because it is weird so it says feeling sensitive we've all been there wave goodbye to redness and tight skin with this natural cleanser infused with chamomile white willow and oat proteins oh oats really good if you've got like a uh, sensitive skin like the um vino is really good for sensitive skin um it gent gently removes makeup and dissolves impurities without causing irritation simply massage into its skin then rinse away to reveal the smooth complexion that's comfortable to touch okay whatever you say honey if it's chamomile it's probably gonna smell like my grandma because she's well i got one grandma because i'm half danish i've got a mot more which in danish is basically means mum's mum so it's my mum it's my mum's mum but she's my grandma but we call it yep yeah. If you're Danish, you know what I'm talking about. And she always drinks chamomile tea. Mm. It does kind of smell... <laughs> Not saying I don't like what old women smell like, but it does smell a bit... Like my grandma's bathroom. <gasps> I'm happy about this because I already actually use this product. Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Yes. Love this. I'm actually wearing it right now. How does one zoom on a camera? We're about to find out, but I feel like. Can you see? It's really really good don't know if it's take much it's just like a little bit and you get like a really like good like volume this is literally like three coats i'm not even joking and i've got really blonde eyelashes like if i don't put mascara on i don't look i've got no eyelashes so if this is three coats i would highly recommend this it's like a little one like these and then why did you ASMR, honey? Oh. Okay, the next one. The last one. Badlands Dry Shampoo Paste. Badlands. See, this writing is so small, I'm gonna have to read from the thing again. This is what it looks like, it's tiny. It's basically, this paste is formulated with Hawaiian volcanic ash to keep your scalp clean and balanced with coconut and sunflower seed oils to add shine. Just rub a small amount between your fingers and work through to give second hair, day hair, a serious upgrade. Oh, that smells good. Coconut. I'm not really into my coconut. That doesn't smell like coconut, but it smells good. It smells like something you'd get from like the body shop. You know, not like, not like laugh, which is like overpowering, I feel like sometimes, but like body shop stuff, like, so good. Oh, it is quite, don't know if you can see this, but it is quite like dense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like dense, like, like, it is pasty. I wouldn't, I'm not a, not so not about, I've always had long hair, so I haven't had to worry about putting like wax or anything in my hair. So this is probably the first I'm gonna do really hard to get them on your fingers and it kind of melts when it gets onto your finger but it's just quite it's like really quite soft you know we'll try that another day because my hair's fresh right now i'm gonna have to shower again i can't i'm not one of those who can like go for a shower and not wash my hair because I'm so tall by the time I've washed my shoulder, like done my shoulders and stuff, most of my hair's wet anyway. So you just, I just do the whole shabam. Just do the whole lot, one go. So that was one March box. One March box. Quite happy with that, I think, considering that was probably part of my, considering one of them's free, pretty much, and one of them, cause I only, yeah, because I only spent five pounds on, on like the Black Friday deal. So that was the Christmas box and one of those. And then it was like, 
12 pounds which is what you pay every month and that's what i got for the january box so one of them was for free and one of them was for like two pound fifty not mad about it so the next one like i said also the theme again be present not perfect some similar ones in here so we've got again we've got the um black peel off mask there we go there we go we've got the same one again and then we've also got the bad gal lash again so i'm buzzing like the i've basically got two new mascaras like the ones that i use every day so it's like perfect okay then we've got three other ones we've got a reeve for anyone who doesn't know they do hair care like they're like kind of like schwarzkopf weller you know the ones that do the elnet that's who i meant elnet they're expensive apre beach wave and shine spray and it's in a really really cute little i really love the packaging of these they're really really nice it's because <clears throat> it's american it's in bloody oz 37 mil or you know you know what this is <sighs> I still, all i can sm i can just smell loads of smells right now it's really hard we're gonna have to do a little spray because i can't kind of smell anything right now oh! oh that smells so good okay if anyone remembers when like when in like in england i don't know if you had them in like america or in other countries impulse sprays it's like i press beach and wave and shine spray but it's impulse oh it smells so good you know this is one of those things i think if i really like this i will actually buy the full size product no joke next we have okay i'm not even how do they expect you to say this name It's a Parisian one, B A, and then the I's got two dots above it, and then a J and an A. Beja, Gomage Festin Royal Body Scrub with caramelized honey. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> Packed full of honey and soothing sheer, this exfoliator is a great solution for sloughing away dry patches and brightening. Massage it onto damp skin and rinse away with warm water to feel moisturised, smooth and supple. Big bonus, it smells incredible. Oh, it's actually like proper like, like it's got the grains in it that look like, um, like if you get like really good like organic honey, you know. They weren't wrong when they said it smells incredible. Sorry if I'm offending any French people, I know my, my accents are, like I said, shocking. When I get to my Australian one, then you realise how bad I am. <sighs> I could just sit, I literally could just sit with my nose in this. It smells so good. Right, let's just do a little... Oh, okay, you know it's good when you get that... Fi oh, oh, that feeling when you put it like... Oh, this is so good. It's just like, oh, it's good. I feel like it's probably organic because it feels like I've just got a bit of honey and um sugar on my hand like good sugar not like you know essential waitrose but like a good cane or some good sugar cane or something last last but not least comes a little foamy packet and then a little bubble wrap right i'm just gonna say this right now it looks like a duo eyeshadow palette but it's not the bronzer and highlighter and this is actually a full-size product now all i want to know is how do you what does it say grab a large fluffy brush and buff the bronzer all over your face add a subtle glow for skin or dust beneath your cheekbones complete with a sweep of highlighter i'm sorry but if, if you put a fluffy brush on that it is going to take both colors so in case I've got any makeup products in these because I feel like a lot of it is skincare I brought my, 
my tools down with me so I could try some things out because quite frankly, right, excuse me. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't say the brand. Mm, it's one of those, you don't want to like offend anyone, do you? Sort it. Mm, Manakadar Beauty. Manakadar? Manakadar. Manakadar. <laughs> Manakadar. It's a Birch Box exclusive, apparently. I don't trust Ty and open it. I have real struggles opening things because I've got zero nails. Okay, you want me to take a fluffy brush? Well, first of all, I don't take a fluffy brush. Well, I do take a fluffy ish brush. I like to use like a. like a. like a contour. Good, good Emma if you did the other side wouldn't it oh <laughs> you can't see anything I'm such a plonker sometimes like you know like a straight edged and then you know I think I put a bit too much on it's quite dark honey that's dark oh you know this is going to be one of those products that I'm not going to use on myself but like when I've got friends who come over who maybe use the paint, oh my friends use later. Use it because this is goddamn, no, this is no, no, that's not for me. And it's supposed to be highlighted. It doesn't even look remotely shimmery. Do you see what I mean? It just looks like a really like, pitch, focus, not my face. Focus, there we go. They look like really flat colours. Like, how can you say that's a shimmer? Well, okay, I've already got loads and loads of highlights on, but we're just gonna... Okay, what are we gonna have to do here? I mean, it's not like a subtle glow, but like, I feel like it's just like a glow that I could get with like a luminizer that I put under my foundation. Sorry, Manakadar, not sure how I feel about you. So that's that box. Can I just say as well, they put, you, they put the retail price on here so you can see how much they are. £17 retail price. Manakadar, you ain't worth 17 quid, honey. You can try. Think you're gonna try hard enough. You didn't try hard enough. Right, then we're gonna come to the one that I are actually like, I think the ones that people were probably, were probably most interested in. We have the Christmas box. And you know what, it's so pretty. <gasps> it's glittery. Oh. Sorry, excuse my shocking voice. It's so pretty. And they've got like cute, look at that. They have like cute little, little Christmas trees around the outside. So I know it's not Christmas anymore, but you know, in case you had a cock up like me that it turned up late, you'll be interested to know. And also all these products you can with Birchbox, you can actually go on and buy the more than that. So they've got like a shop and then they do their beauty box, which actually a lot of other companies like look fantastic do. You can go on and like obviously do like it's kind of like in America, like when you have Ulta Beauty. Excuse me. Or like Sephora, which we don't have in England, which is bloody annoying, can I just say? Especially when you're used to it in Copenhagen. Oh, you don't have any over here. Which most people say, well, you know, you've got Harvey Nicks in London, which do all like Fenty and everything like that. But I actually like Sephora Zone, and not necessarily their makeup, but their beauty. Like, I love their sheet masks, their lip masks, their, they've got really good feet masks. They've also got loads of really cool like, Korean beauty products that you can buy there, like the little panda, the little panda, like, sticks that are really, like, really cold, and you put them under your eye, and they, like, give you, like, get rid of your under eye circles. No, nope. we do not have any of that in the UK. Don't know what accent that was, but we'll try. So yeah, so like I said, I got some chocolates. I ate them. They were too bloody good. Totally TLC hydrating mask. It's for your hair by Percy and Reed London. So this is a sachet of like something that would usually come, because it does, I've got the product descriptions at the bottom of the box here. Would usually come in what looks like a tub. So this is this one. This is this product one. Twinkle all the way. Sounds like winkle all the way. Huh? 
sorry I'm a right odd one and then this one's I think so because the January ones like I've said I've had a little, I've had a little sneak peek look the same as this in terms of layout whereas I think the old ones have like this layout but I think people will just quite not I prefer this layout because you can actually see like the products in like a better size and stuff like that oh with this one as well I got so Birchbox have some of their own like hair accessories and I got a Birchbox comb and I probably should start using combs more because as you brush my fingers through my hair a lot and I get actually a lot of hair loss when I'm in the shower I get clumps out but that's because I've got you can't really see oh my hair's a little pink <laughs> I've got a lot of hair like it's not thick hair it's thin like I've got very fine hair but I've got a lot of it so I probably should use one of these more often so what do we have here we have So we have, where did I put the bloody thing? Oh. The hair mask, which is with nourishing marshmallow extract and coconut oil, this TLC hydrating mask provides intensive conditioning for dry, damaged and lackluster hair. I'm very lucky, I've got very good quality hair, even though I have um, dyed it and stuff. But that's just because, I think that's just genetics really. Falls. Um, but I will give this a whack and then maybe do like a little Insta story or something um, showing what it looks like afterwards. To do with uh, social media, I am going to link below my um, correlating other social media pages. So I've, I've set up a new like Facebook and Instagram page for this channel. Yes. Right, next we have spacemasks.com Inst interstellar relaxation this little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask which will transport you to another dimension relieving tiredness eye strain and many other earthly tensions the warmth comes alive as soon as you open it so make sure you are fully reclined and ready for liftoff <sighs> I'm going to add this to my skincare routine that I'm going to do because this looks really cool Open the pouch and unfold your mask. Gently place the space mask over your eyes and fit the loops round your ears. See, now if I did that right now, I wouldn't see, be able to see you beautiful lot. Also wouldn't have a clue what I look like. I would probably do something. I don't even know. I just know what I'm like. I'll do something really disastrously stupid. So we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one, oh my God, you have no idea how much I wanted to try one of these. I'm definitely gonna have to do. A video on this because a bubble sheet mask and this one is not just like one you can get from Sephora which I have ordered I ordered so I ordered some stuff in Denmark sometimes and then when my mum comes to England like I get to bring them over with me so I might oh you know what I'm gonna do <laughs> she's coming over in a couple of weeks I think I'm gonna do like ones where I test them both and compare So this is called OK, like OK, bubble sheet mask. Made in Korea, especially for you, liven up your beauty regime with this OK face mask. So that's that. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm buzzing about this box, all I'm going to say. Next, we have a Balance Me Flash Cleanse. Okay, this is a word I can never say. Micellar. Micellar? Flash Cleanse Micellar Water. 99% natural darling so that's what that looks like well because of the next product which is a long-lasting liquid lipstick from La Ritzy Cosmetics in the color power I'm gonna have a look at I'm going to use the cleanser to take off what I have on my lips already which is a bit of a lip liner and lip gloss <sighs> I'm have to break this bloody cardboard shitting box and then I can apply and show you since I don't to take too much makeup off, I can show you this colour. See, I'm not one for red lipsticks, but I quite like this, you know. Wait, where's Loretzi? It's like written here. Can you see? Loretzi. Loretzi. You're probably, probably saying all these bloody names wrong, but you know what? I'm just gonna pop off and get a tissue, and I'm back. Got my Kleenex. 
Can I take one of these? Then we're gonna, it's not a cotton. <gasps> It's an open bottle, doesn't have anything, so I might have poured it a bit too much. We've got a nice wet tissue and a nice wet. Okay, this, this stinks, I'm sorry. This does smell like an old person. It smells like when you go to like a doctor surgery, you know, like, you might be all natural, honey, but you don't smell bloody good. That, okay, do I don't have to really put this in my lips right now? Um, I have, does it probably help that I've put like a good, they're not that much. A good few millilitres on there. It doesn't smell good. Right, here we go. A whole like. Huh. I did a good job. I'm just not gonna look. I'm not gonna do it. Mm. Oh. Okay, I've got wet lips. Hmm. Yeah, now I just look like I've a bit weird. Right, well at least they're nice and clean now. You ready? Honey. My ears, my video's gonna be amazing. Right, you ready for this? <sighs> oh, that's red, isn't it? <gasps> Ooh. No, I can't do Mmm. It's a good word, isn't it? Mm. Like that. I like you, honey. So it says it's a long lasting liquid lipstick. What I always like to do with the liquid lipstick is see transfer value. Honey, it's a bit, well you can't see it, it doesn't, I've got nothing. Like literally. Nothing. This is so far on my lips. Like literally. Let's see, let's see how well it comes off. Because this is sometimes when you get these things, they leave a tint on your lips. I'm gonna put a little bit less on this time, not drown the bloody thing. in my mouth and a bit of taste of caramel. Yeah. And I'm putting, applying a lot of pressure right now. But it's coming off. Huh? Get out there. Oh, if you can hear dogs going mad. We live in like in the middle of a to terrace cottages. Okay, not being funny. I look like I've just been like pecker to death. So leave us like red tinge around my mouth. I'm sexy and I know it. Yeah, not cute, but what we're gonna do. What can you do? So I'm just gonna take a bit of my brush from earlier that has my powder on. I'm just gonna Get rid of that. Can't take myself seriously when I'm looking in like my little my mirror and I can see this bloody red red. I don't even know what to call myself right now. Right, so that was the December box. I'm quite happy with that actually. It's got some um, oh oh. It's got some things that I've um I wanted to try for a really long time. 
So we'll definitely do, like it's really hard to like try and like give impressions and stuff like, and review things that come in packets because realistically right now I'm not gonna go and use a self-heating iron mask. So I'm just going to have to do like a, like a video where I do like a skincare routine and then you can actually see what it looks like. Ah, and finally, we're gonna do the January box, which is also really cute. Ooh. Come Heather, come Heather. So this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, make sure we should probably there we go, how cute. It's very summery, you know, for January, I'd expect something maybe like a more of a mauve color, like a bit of a wintry color. This, I feel like it looks a bit like a June box or a July. But anywho, here they're trying to brighten up our lives since for anyone, so I live in the south of England. I'm like a home counties girl. Like it sounds really like, born in Surrey, grew up in Berkshire, I now live in Hampshire. For anyone who lives around this area will know, starting to get really bloody cold it's raining so this is actually maybe they're trying to chirp us up a bit with a bit of color in our lives this says shake your palm palms you know that song shake your palm palm shake your palm palm yeah it's from uh i don't even know what yeah whatever good thing about this is it gives you a february sneak peek for anyone who's buying the february box you're gonna get a lock lock liquid shimmer eyeshadow either in eclipse or moonlight and you know what some one brand that keeps is doing one of those at the moment is uh, stilla and huda beauty and i'm definitely going to try and get some of those products and show you what they look like because i'm really into them so what we're going to do is as you can see oh there we go we're going to start off with this Dr. Botanicals Cleansing Bar, and this one is in You told me I'd get one in pomegranate or coconut, cocoa and coconut, but I've got the Lemon Superfood Nourishing and Balancing Cleansing Bar. Comes in this box. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite good at reading things, but that's really hard to read that such a bright yellow, like that colour yellow on a white box, I'm not going to lie, um, I'm slightly struggling. But it's nice packaging, I'm feeling this. A Pocker 3 natural collection, it's a vegan, cruelty free and 98% natural. Well, I'd like to know what the 2% on natural is. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, it's literally a, so a soap. It is soap. It's soap. Cleansing, cleansing bar. <laughs> you just want to sound posh honey, but really you're just soap. Oh, it smells good though. I'm sorry, I can't get over this. Balancing cleansing bar, honey. You just saw. This one I've got a pom pom headband, which is why the cover of the leaflet says shaky pom poms. So they're pom pom hair ties. Anyone? Oh, I'm too excited to make this, literally. Oh, they're cute. But it looks like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Well, like if you're Red Nose Day. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> then we've got an after spa for your face. I like how they say for your face, travel friendly. Facial scrubber. Well, if you say facial scrubber and then they have to say for your face. It's obviously quite dim people out there. For healthy and smooth skin. The ultimate exfoliation for face and neck. Comes in this. Directions, wet skin and scrubber and apply your favorite cleanser to scrubber, massage and exfoliate face and neck in circular motions. Replace after 60 days. Right, you know what, we're gonna open this. We find out how to open the buddy thing. Should I rip, I'm just gonna do a Oh, yeah, there we go. I feel like that's probably what you were supposed to do anyway. I wasn't actually being that exciting. Oh, and then you put your hands in like that. Okay, I just dropped on top of the Himalayas. Emma, that's not going to do anything. 
part of skincare routine like okay i feel like this is, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this skincare routine thing i'll get there in the end marcelle marcel i want to say marcel but it's m-a-r-c-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. marcelle probably french again isn't it so say made in france canada definitely french um city 24 hour anti-pollution day and night moisturizing emulsion seven milliliters it's cute it's probably something that my mum would love you know i can't really smell anything which i quite like i've got really sensitive skin which is why i've spoken about vino like with oats and stuff for sensitive skin like i know i said i don't test patch and i don't but i have had I should have done that when things are really smelly like i've had a mac moisturizer once and it's not amazing and then it left me with like lumps all over my neck like st like stress allergy lumps awful and last but not least we have clay clay i think it's clay, clay. it's spelled c-l-e but it's got the like accent on the e in clay i'd say cosmetics like this and it's a hybrid sharing technology essence moonlighter cushion it's basically a highlighter in copper rose radiant skin it comes with a mirror inside compact i must say the mirror's not great you know look at that blur look at that blur what am i supposed to do with that blur comes with a little like sponge which, like in the top bit here and the come that compartment like Right, I need to learn how to do this, sorry. Pops. I'll get there. Pops out, there we go. And underneath, under the bit of there, you've got it, there we go. So basically it's a sponge. I'm gonna, tr I'll try this out for you. I'm a little apprehensive, you know. It smells good, actually, does that smell good? It smells like alcohol, like, like the smell of like uh, brandy butter you eat at Christmas. So I'm just tapping. Oh, I see a bit of product. I'm not gonna use this crappy bloody mirror. What even is that? What even, who even are you? Okay, I'm gonna say, so I've already got Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter on right now, which is like the bomb in my opinion, but we're gonna... I mean, it does look quite wet. You know what I'm gonna have to do, because I can't properly see anything. I'm gonna have to take a cleanser, get some makeup off. No, that's not even funny. Look how good that looks normally, and now I've just got like this brown shine on my face. We're gonna try it on my foot. We'll try it on my forehead. I'm just gonna be one big glistening bomb after this. There we go. You ready? Are you are you ready? I'm not sure I'm even ready for this, but let's go. Can you oh <laughs> like that is high shine. <gasps> That's high shine. This is basically, I feel like what you could use would be perfect for when you're really tanned in the summer and you want a bit of a dewy glow, because this is pretty much the same colour as I go in, in the in the in the summer for me, but perfectly for me. If you're like me and you have olive skin, it would be perfect for you. And then you just put it on your highlights and then you have to go out with a bit of mascara and you go out and you're done. Done. I mean it's good, but I wouldn't use it. It's not what I would use for everyday use, let's put it that way. Like I'm not sure. And it's twenty two pound plus retail price. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna. I know, I know my Anastasia Beverly Hill palette is fifty pounds, but at least it comes with six shades, and I've had it for over a year and a half, and it's still going. So, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon. Mwah.